welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy and showing signs at least that we might be getting towards the end of this crisis and things can start opening up again. So that's exciting. The other thing that's been on my mind is that summer is coming. Here in Pennsylvania, it is a beautiful sunny day um, and I've been thinking a lot about sun protection. I don't know about uh, a lot of you guys, but in the summer when I'm going to be out all day, I often feel that I have to choose between sunblock and makeup, particularly if you need something a little bit higher than maybe the 15 or 20 SPF that you get from your foundation. So what I wanted to try today was using a sunblock. This one is La Roche-Posay. Anthelios Active Wear Lotion Sunscreen. This is SPF 60. And um, so today I'm going to try this under a full face look and see how it you know, will hold up throughout the day. For me, this would totally be a game changer. There's a lot of times in the summer, um, for me, where I'm gonna be out like all day, maybe we're just walking around the city, we're gonna grab grab a bite or you know maybe we're doing like a museum but we're going to be still out walking a lot but you still want to have your face look as you want it to look and you know for me I've had to choose between sunblock and makeup um, and then you know we might go to like a fancy restaurant and this is what my face looks like <laughs> I mean I guess it's not terrible it's what I was born with but you know sometimes you just want to look a bit more elevated even when you've spent all day in the sun so I really want to give this a try I really hope it works but before we get further into the video please remember to subscribe to my channel if you like what you're seeing and give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it or found it interesting or whatever feel free to give it a thumbs down if you don't like it okay so as I mentioned I'm gonna use this particular sunscreen today um this one you know it, it's been really nice out here and i happened to go outside to do some gardening last week and i need sunblock and my dermatologist has made it really clear i should wear sunblock basically all the time so i put this on and i never really noticed i've had this for a while i don't know if i never grabbed this one this by the way is the only brand that does not make me like basically break out in hives and be itchy and gross um, this one is for face and body, so I just happened to grab it and notice that in particular it is It goes on and it feels like nothing on your skin. It takes seconds to dry and it really it, it just it feels like there's nothing there. So I thought it might be a really good one to try under um, under makeup and see how it holds up. So that's why I chose this one. I'm sure there's others that, you know, would work, but a lot of sunscreens for me, they just kind of feel too greasy and I can't imagine putting another layer over them that it just would be like a disgusting cakey mess. So like I said, I did, um, I did have this on the other day. I'm gonna start out with, you know, not too much. I hope that's not too much. And um, I'm not going to use an additional primer today. So this really does feel like sunscreen, you know, when you're first putting it on. But it will dry right up. It's so amazing. Hi, Kayla. What is it? That's my cat. I have locked her in this room, so... I think I need to open the door for her. She wants to leave. And I'm gonna make sure I get it. I have kind of this, you know, I don't know. I like to make sure I get it all in my hairline. Okay. So as I let this dry for literally just a couple of minutes, I'm gonna talk to you about the products that I'm going to use today. Um, I am loving the Pure Love Your Selfie Longwear Foundation and Concealer, so I'll be using that. And I've lately been mixing it with the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth Foundation. Is that what it's called? 
Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. Um, this one is really, it's really dewy. Uh, this one is more matte, so I'm kind of liking the combination. Still in search of the best uh, foundation for me. So that's going to be step one, and then I'll continue with blush, bronzer, highlighter, all that good stuff. Probably pretty basic on the eyes to wrap it up. Um, some kind of neutral lip. I feel like I do the same stuff every time. I'm sorry. But it's just me. But at least we're trying something new today. We are trying this, um, yeah. It really, like, it does not feel like you have anything on. It's kind of amazing. Okay. All right, so I've mixed my two foundations together. I'm going to throw them on. to get a little more and I mix them mix them together okay one of the things I'm going to look for is how my foundations actually look you know on top of the sunblock and I have to say so far it's pretty good I mean they Pretty much look like they always do so that is definitely a good sign for this little experiment today I am noticing a little bit of cakiness right in here I wonder if I can fix that with the beauty blender but we'll see oh stab myself in the eye all right, I'm going to try to blend some of this out using my beauty blender. Okay, so I think I've blended this out pretty well. I do unfortunately see a little bit of cakiness here and there. Um, but we'll see how that goes when I put on the rest of my products because I also forgot to tell you guys that I am, want to try a translucent powder today. I've heard great things about this one. It's the Maybelline Lasting Fix Loose Setting Powder All Day Matte Finish. And um, I'm gonna just kind of play, just brush this all over my face with a nice, with a nice big powder brush. With, um, with this kind of product, a little bit goes a long way. So I don't really have that much on here and uh, just gonna kinda sweep it all across. Yeah, okay, so this looks, this looks pretty good. I think that the powder helped Kind of just fill in some of the cakiness here and there and um, I think this base is not bad it's not you know the finish is not as perfect as you know it has been um, I'm sure it is because of the sunblock but that's part of the experience or experiment today and just you know trying to see uh, what we can do so I'm gonna go in with bronzer next Okay, then we're going to go for blush. I do love this highlighter. It's a good one. And I do want to use a bit of highlighter on a few more parts of my face. So I'm going to do this. My brows. Good, and then finally, just right in just a little bit here by my eye. All right, I've got my glow on. 
I'm just gonna finish it up with some mascara and lips and I will wear this throughout the day and let you guys know what I think with this sunblock underneath. And also, if any of you have any suggestions for sunblocks to wear underneath a full face for the full day, that would be extremely helpful. I would love to try them. Um, personally, I need like SPF 45 or 60. Um, but any recommendations would be really, really great. So just the final steps here and we'll wrap up this video and I'll let you know how things shape up at the end of the day. All right, lashes are done and today I used the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. I like that one. And um, I'm just gonna go in with like a springy, springy corally nude lip. And uh, call it a day, except that, as mentioned, I'll be back later and uh, tell you guys how this all turns out. Like I said, it is it is not the perfect finish, but so far, I think if I had a full day to be outside and I also wanted to do my face, I would uh, probably, probably wear this. Now, we'll see how the day goes on if it holds up, but uh, I'll be back. I'll tell you all about it. Thanks. Hey guys, I'm back. It's the end of the day. I've actually had this makeup on for like 11 hours. Um, uh, it looks, you know, pretty decent. It is kind of breaking down a little bit, but that's, I think, expected at the end of a long day. Um, I went outside today. I didn't get sunburned. And um, overall, I think I would wear this. I think I would definitely double up on the sunblock as well as a typical makeup look with you know full foundation and everything so i hope you enjoyed bye